In this week's Blast of Wildlife News, elephant numbers reach the tipping point, new bird species classified, a lion croc showdown, and a clouded leopard gets collared. All this and more, this is your two-minute nature news roundup. Africa's elephant population has reached the tipping point, meaning that more of them are killed each year than are born. An average of 35,000 elephants are poached for their ivory annually, which scientists equate to 7% of the population. Elephants only breed at a rate of 5% a year. This research comes with the news that over a ton of ivory was seized in Vietnam. The shipment of tusks was found in a container coming from Nigeria. Still in Asia, the controversial dolphin hunting season begins in Taiji, Japan this week. The gruesome practice of herding wild dolphins to be captured or slaughtered made headlines after the release of the cove. Activists are already campaigning on the ground. On to some news from the bird world. There are more bird species on Earth than we thought. According to the most comprehensive study ever done by BirdLife International, 462 birds previously listed as subspecies are in fact their own separate species, including this one, the Somali ostrich. Off to Malaysia, where the first female clouded leopard was successfully trapped and collared as part of a study. It's hoped that her collar will relay vital data to scientists trying to save the endangered felines. So elusive, they're also known as ghost cats. Here's something you don't see every day. A lion and a croc in a showdown for an elephant carcass. You can watch this epic battle on EarthTouchNews.com. And don't forget your weekly dose of really strange animal stories in Wild Watch, also on our website. This week, there's koala CPR, elephant poop coffee, and a whole lot more. Go check it out. You know you want to. And finally, the latest in zooborn news is the arrival of some adorable fennec fox cubs at a zoo in Israel. They're the first cubs to be born there in 15 years. Don't forget to drop us a line if you've got a story for us. We'd love to hear from you. And stay in touch on Facebook and Twitter. Till next time!